Hello to all my friends out there. So I'm eating my freezer down and one of the things I had was two flour tortillas. So I want to make some easy chicken enchiladas. So one of the things I bought, uh, I was a while back, I bought two of these large corn oils. Uh, corn oil is $9.00. So um, I would stock up on some kind of gallons, I think this is gallon, of oil. I'll be buying a couple more of those. So I just want to heat my uh, tortillas through. And uh, I made, uh, I'm making chicken. This is the third night of chicken. Here, here's the chicken breaths. So, um, Chicken, it won't bother me to eat chicken a lot. And I need a little more oil. You don't have to. I just think it tastes better if you uh, fry your uh, tortillas a little bit. So, um, I, have, um, I have a meal plan and uh, hopefully, if I stay on with this meal plan, uh, by the end of the year, I will cook 365 meals if nothing goes wrong. It's not always possible. So um, I bought these um, chicken thighs at Walmart, and uh, you don't have to defrost them. You just put them in the oven, and you just... Um, bake them. I put a little oil, pepper, and garlic salt on my chicken. And so in just one minute or so, I'm going to have some very tasty enchiladas. So uh, let's see. This one looks good. Owie. And if you bake your uh, chicken fresh, of course, you know, your enchiladas are going to taste so much better than if you make it the day before. Why? I don't know. Uh, okay, so now let's see. I used to make uh, enchiladas or tacos once a week uh, for years when I was raising my son. I don't know what happened. <laughs> and then with the rest of his chicken, I just eat it right off the bone. I have some uh, green olives. And so I'm going to, I think on all Mexican food, you need a lot, uh, not a lot, but enough, some kind, I'm going to use some chives and some dry onions and some garlic salt. This is minced onions. I, I got them at the 99 cent store or Walmart, you know, I don't. Let's see. Okay, so that's what I have there. Now, what I do, I, I don't know why, it's just like in my life of enchilada mix making, I heat the enchilada sauce. I think it just turns out better. So what I had was, I had this, I stockpiled this at some point. And uh, so uh, I just want to pour a little bit on. I don't dip my enchiladas uh, in the sauce. I mean, it seems academic. What's the difference if you pour a lot on? But I just want to show you how I do it. So then I have this really good uh, jalapeno cheese. I got it at Walmart. I like to go heavy on the cheese because, as you know, I, I tr truly love cheese. 
so uh, let me move back here. So um, I will just go right in the same pan and I will just roll them up. And then I will, and we pour the rest of the enchilada sauce. I wanna make sure I get uh, my enchiladas covered good so that I don't have any dry ends. Uh, you know, I was a nurse for a long, a nursing student for a long time. And, you know, some of the cooking would be so sloppy and, and the poor old people would have these enchiladas. I mean, you know, you're making a lot of food, so it's understandable. I thought, wow, you guys, really? Okay, so now I buy this cheese at um, Walmart. I mean, really, if that's the worst thing that happens to you, you should be praising the Lord, but I'll never forget that. Okay, so then I will pop it in the oven and bake 350. And what I bought to go with this is I just bought this uh, Santa Fe salad. And I will make a little salad to go with my um, enchiladas. I'm going to put that on the thumbnail. And then I bought some um, angel food cake, and I wanted to um, frost all four sides, but they just didn't want to frost. It was too crumbly. I had them in the um, freezer. And um, I bought candy today for 50 cents. You know, it was 50% off, and I already ate one because I couldn't wait. So I will pop that in the oven, and then I also made four cups of black tea. Okay, you guys. Oh, let me show you the... Okay, so here is the meal plan. So tonight is enchiladas and I made chicken. Uh, on the lasagna night, I made the uh, macaroni uh, spaghetti. I made chicken Alfredo using one of those packages. And for the steak, I made steak and cheese tea party. So that leaves me smoked sausage and potato soup, French toast with jam and eggs and Spanish rice. So this week was a really cheap and easy meal plan. And I will show you the results on the thumbnail. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you 